Morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hey, I want to keep before you that services for Christmas Eve are on here at Southwest Church, and we want our Hope for Today community to be a part of our Southwest Christmas services. Friday night, there's one evening service, then Saturday, Christmas Eve, there are two services. All the information is right there. Or is it there? Or is it there? I don't know. It's somewhere on the screen. Guys, we have we've we're already we've been practicing for weeks to just put on a display of the good news of Jesus for our community, and we want you to be a part of it. We've been talking about the fruit of Christmas, the fruit of the spirit, and today we get to self-control, the last one. It's the Greek word egg kratea, egg meaning I or ego for self, okay, and then krat. Ai, which means lordship, okay? And it's the idea that through the, through the power of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit has lordship over yourself, over you, okay? It means that, it, it doesn't mean that I'm gonna have power over myself, that I'm gonna practice my own willpower. That's not self-control, that's you control, <laughs> right? But, but, but self-control compelled by the Holy Spirit is when through the power of the spirit, there's nothing in myself that's gonna have lordship over me. Um, this is that time of year where the pounds get added on. This is the time of year where we feel a little bit of license to kind of cheat on some stuff with our vices. This is the year when we're a little privy and prone to spend too much, eat too much, play too much, and talk too much. Who am I talking to right now? But through the power of the Spirit, God says, if you come to me, I'll give you self-control. One of the reasons I think that our country and maybe Western culture came up with New Year resolutions is because of the end of year problems. <laughs> I think one of the reasons we started on January 1st saying I'm gonna have a new start is because we had such a terrible finish the month before. We're stressed and we got parties to go to and we got inventory to count. And we got fiscal years to close and we got kids who are out of school who are driving us insane. And for some reason, all of that, that hustle and bustle, we escape to the wrong things instead of resting in the right one. You know what I'm saying? And Jesus says, through the power of the spirit, I'll give you self-control. And my point is this, for those of you like me, who are starting to run through the wrong things and run to the things and having a too much witness. What does it mean for us to say, Holy Spirit, I don't wanna wait till January 1st to start walking in self-control. God, even around this delicious prime rib with this delicious garlic horseradish sauce, you can give me self-control to have one helping instead of four. You can give me self-control, Lord, to spend what I budgeted instead of what I want to spend. You can give me self-control to eschew gossip and all this stuff that's coming out of my mouth and to speak well of people according to the power of your spirit. Self-control. Pray to the Holy Spirit that he will give you that in your life today. And that's hope for today. I'll see you next time.